Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Ellie and this link is very big. So this is the first time I've actually filmed in my salon room, which is exciting. Um, I've got my ring light. I'm doing it on my phone because it's just um, a bit easier for me to do it on my phone. But um, just a little bit of a nicer background. <laughs> my background in my bedroom is not the best. It's a bit small. There's nowhere really for me to sit. So this is a bit of a nicer layout. Um, but today I'm actually going to be doing a video on a new wig. So I've been waiting to do this for ages because I've actually had this wig for over a week. So I um, got myself a new boyfriend and he bought me a new wig which is really really kind. It was a surprise. Did not expect it at all. Um, so yeah, I'll just get it for you. The normal present. So it come, came in this bag. Um, obviously I have opened it. Um, it's really cute. A gift for you. And on the um, on the little note. Oh no, is it not in here? I think it's at home, but the note basically said, because I only fancy you with blue hair. Um, because basically I have dyed my hair now pink um, you would have seen that in my last video um, if you watched it, if you didn't, you didn't watch it, please um, but yeah, I've now dyed my hair pink but when we met I had blue hair and um, he liked that more than pink but tough teas so yeah, he got me in a new wig um, so it came in this bag and then when you take it out it is in this bag so it is the same one as well the same brand as this one it is by charisma oh so you would get it it comes in a bag just like this just check there's nothing left in here oh probably should have sorted this out before i before i got it um so yeah it comes in a bag like that um, and then I'm going to open it up. I have already got it out of the bag. Um, and it comes with two wig caps. One or two. I think it is two. Yeah, it's two. Um, which look like this. They're like little nude ones. Just like that. Like a little sock kind of thing. And you get some like little leaflets. Sort of thing. Basically just... Um, Telling you how to store it and um, how to like keep it untangled and how to style it, etc, etc. So, same as the other one, if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to read this just in case. So it says, no shedding, no tangle, heat resistant, smooth, fashion hair, varieties, day style, party and cosplay. Um, I don't know exactly how much this wig that I'm about to open was. But this one was, I think, £38 something. So I assume that this one is around the same price. It is um, a really, really good price for these kind of wigs. Like, you know, I think I get so many compliments of people saying, you know, they think it was my real hair. I had um, a client earlier on today came in and was like, oh, you've had extensions. And um, that was really nice because it showed me that, you know, it doesn't, necessarily look like a wig I mean I'm happy with it looking like extensions I don't even care if it looks like a wig to be honest but um yeah anyway rambling on so open it up and it is in this bag um there's my other sock there and um here is the wig it's a blue wig because he only found some with blue hair he doesn't um that's what he said but it's really funny because um, when he got it for me, he said he had a surprise, um, and he came over, and he was like texting me, saying, I'm outside, I've just got to put it on, and I was thinking, put it on, what is it? And I was thinking it might be like a jacket, or a onesie, or something, I literally didn't even think nothing of it, and um, he walks in with this wig on, I'll see if I can, if I can enter a clip, I will. I ruined the gift, the wrap, I was like, nah, I'm going to wear it. The video. <laughs> the video. <laughs> I don't fancy you with the uh, pink hair, so I was like, I'm getting you blue hair. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to take it out of the bag. It normally comes 
in this, wrapped up very nicely, but I took it out uh, the other day. So yeah, this is the wig. Looks a bit purpley in this light, but it is like a nice blue, like a baby blue. So it is quite a lot longer. It was on my head. Probably gonna come to about there. Oh my god, it smells like him. David, this smells like you. <laughs> it's really funny. So, um, yeah. I am gonna put it on, chop off the lace, and see what it looks like. This is the fright, this is the first time I've put it on. So I have, um, I have taken it out of the bag and I have had a look at it, but, and David's wore it, but I have not even tried it on, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna take off this wig. So the best thing for wigs you want to try and get your hair as flat down to your head as possible. You don't want to wear it in um, like a bun or um, a high ponytail or anything. You want to probably plait it or split it and like wrap it round because you don't want to have like a big lump on your head because it will be quite obvious um, or when you put the wig on, especially if it's like a straight wig. Pop this back on. Because obviously my, uh, the roots are so dark on the wig, I have to do my um, brows quite full on. So you've got two clips there and one clip there. I personally don't use the clips just because you, I've got a wig cap on and I can't clip it onto the wig cap, so I'm not really sure. And it's also got tightening straps, which I do use. Oh my god! Yes! Sassy! This feels like a lot lighter than the other one. I don't know if it's because it's not tied up yet. Um, I'm just gonna tighten it up. This feels a lot softer already, like compared to mine, which I've only had for a little while. So much softer it's so soft I can't remember the other one being this soft oh, it's really nice it's really thin it's not too thick like that one I actually had to tr cut a little bit to thin it out and it's still really thick whereas this one I don't feel like it needs doing as much or at all I mean, if anything, I think the length gives it away that it's a bit wiggy. And I mean, the parting seems a lot more, a lot better as well, I think. So that is this part. So I literally just need to cut the lace and then put it back on and see what it looks like. I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself. Right, yes, so I'm just gonna cut the lace and then go from there. So I'm just gonna take it off. So with cutting the lace you want to try and avoid cutting off any of the hairs because they're what makes it look the most natural One part done. <sighs> done it. Uh. Oh, hang on. What's 
that. It's a bit loose. It's come unclipped, that would be why. Wow. See if you can see. Nice. I've not even put any concealer or anything there. Should I just make it a fair test? Shy. All right then. So I'm just gonna take some concealer, pop it on a brush, and probably put some on my spots as well because they are peeping through. Like, hi. Just popping some concealer down there. Just so that the um, root basically matches my face. Just gonna bring it down like that. Right, I think this bit here needs plucking a little bit, so I'm just gonna grab the tweezers. If you can see here, just a little bit too many hairs, I think, for me in that one section, so I'm just gonna pluck some out. Nice! Okay. So, verdict. Obviously, I love it. Um, I think this one, like, looks a bit more natural, to be honest. I think the root's more natural. It's a lot thinner. It's softer. The back looks more natural. It doesn't look so, like, much hair. Um, the only thing I would say is it's very long. It's, like, crazy long, which could look a bit, like, extension-y wiggy, which is... It's cool, like I'll probably, well, I'll see how I get on. I might chop it up just a little tiny bit, just take off a little bit of length because it is very long. Um, and also, I don't know if you can see this. I mean, it doesn't really look like anything. It just feels like there's sort of like a lot of space. I don't know if that's just the way it's been in the bag and it's not like quite settled yet. Um, but, I mean, it's not obvious and it gives it a bit of volume anyway. But I actually think that this is a lot more natural looking than the other one, even though it's blue. Um, I'm just going to show you my roots. So I'm just going to show you in the full length mirror. I'm still really new to this whole like wig um, thing, you know. I'm not, I'm not like a professional wig, wig knower, um, knower, wig knower. Um, I'm not, a, you know, a professional. I don't know like everything about wigs. I just really, really like them. I've always had a thing for them, um, and I just think it's amazing that you can just like put something on your head and just change the color and the style, and not damage your hair. Even though I do damage my own hair, anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just like, you know, testing things out. Um, I'm not 100% sure that everything I say is right. I'm just going with what works for me and what I've learned online myself. Um, but yeah, um, that is the end of my video on this new Charisma Blue wig. If you would like to see more of these videos, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.